Hey guys, Jessica Cabasi here. One of my most popular questions is how do I export photos to be the highest quality possible for Instagram and Facebook? So I some people have this issue where they are uploading photos on yeah either Facebook or Instagram and their photos come out pixelated, they come out less quality than what is the actual photo. So I'm here to show you guys how I export my photos and get the highest quality possible. So first things first, I have my image here and this is a .cr2, it's a raw file. I don't really think that the extension of your image is gonna make that big of a difference. Uh, usually when I am editing, if I'm batch processing wedding pictures, if I have a portrait session and I'm coloring it through Lightroom, I will usually export through Lightroom. Now, that's not to say that I don't export through Photoshop. I just think Lightroom is better for batch exporting. It makes it so much easier and it saves everything in one spot. Photoshop, you kind of have to do it one by one. So I just prefer Lightroom for most of my exporting. When you finish coloring your image the way that you want it, what you want to do is hold Command Shift E. And this is going to pull up the exporting panel here. Isn't it so beautiful? Now, as you can see, I have my own little user presets and I got a little carried away. I got 2019. I'm ready, you guys. I came prepared for 2019. So I already have some user presets here. And one very common uh, preset that I, that I use, that I created myself, is one for Dropbox that I use. Now, first things first, you will need a Dropbox. So if you don't have Dropbox, install it. You can use iCloud. It's the same exact thing but I'm using Dropbox just because I've been using it for a while and that's kind of my go-to application for image sharing. So let me show you guys exactly what's gonna happen. Now, this is users Jessica Kubasi slash Dropbox slash Instagram, meaning that when I export this file to this folder, I'm gonna be able to access this on my phone because I also have the app downloaded. I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. So let me show you guys everything else. I have file naming. I just have the original file name. If you're showing a client proofs or anything, you can go ahead and do a custom name. Totally up to you. The file settings, my image format is staying JPEG. Color space is sRGB. Quality is at 100%. Resolution, I keep it at 300. I don't do any kind of sharpening. I don't have a watermark. I don't really do anything. I'm pretty boring when it comes to this. And I'm sure that there's other things that you could add on here. I'm sure other photographers do it. I'm not one of those photographers. This is what I do. So let me export this and I'm going to show you guys exactly where it's going. So after exports, you can see the Dropbox application that I downloaded on my computer and have installed right up here is processing the image and adding it to my Dropbox. So if I go ahead and click on this, if I open up my Instagram folder, again, that is in my Dropbox right here, you can see that my file is good to go. So it's already in here. I can access it on my computer and I can access it on my phone. Now, you will need to have, again, Dropbox downloaded to your computer and your phone for this to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it through your phone. And now we are in Photoshop and I'm gonna show you exactly how I would export this image. If I was to post it on Facebook or Instagram, pretty simple, <laughs> honestly, all I do is go to File, Save As, and then I would go down from a Photoshop file, because that's what I have it saved as, to a JPEG and really, that's all there is to it. And again, I would save it either in my folder that I have or in my Dropbox. By the way, I do have to note that when I am saving, I'm saving the file in its original form. I'm not resizing at all. A lot of people make the mistake and resize the photo. I don't think it's necessary unless you know you're trying to conserve space. Again, this is the full size. As you can see, this is 66%. It's the full picture, so don't resize the photo unless you're trying to save space or you absolutely have to. Uh, that's what I would recommend for the best quality. 
All right, so I'm on my iPhone here, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Dropbox. And if I update this, as you can see, even without updating, it already showed up on my Dropbox application, and here's the photo. So what I want to do now is go to this little widget right here, and then I want to put Export, and hopefully I have some space. All I do is just save image. I just save this to my phone, and it's exporting. And there we go, it's saved to my photos. So then what I do is just go on over to Instagram, go to post a photo, and that photo should be the first one that comes up. And like I said, it's gonna be great quality. And this is how I export all my photos. Keep in mind, again, I am exporting the original file size. So that's gonna be very important when you're exporting photos. Some people resize their pictures, but I would re not recommend that. So for anyone who wants to know how to make a preset so that you simply click on whatever preset that you have and it automatically inputs all this information so you don't have to do it all over again. What you want to do is set up everything. So that means go through, select the folder that you want it to go to, uh, you know, do the file settings, rename them however you want. Like I said, if it's proofs, you're probably going to want a different file name and if it's somewhere like you want it in a different folder you're probably going to want to change that so get all that how you want it and then all you have to do is just press add and it will let you name a new preset so for instance if i want to send my client proofs and i want them resized with a watermark all i have to do is just select proof logo watermark that's my preset and it automatically changes all the settings to fit the need of whatever i'm exporting and again if i'm doing an Instagram photo and I want it great quality for Instagram, all I have to do is just press the Instagram preset. And this is extremely helpful. It's going to save you so much time. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see for future tutorials. And as always, thank you guys for watching.